What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm out on the road king taking a ride but I do have a destination so stick around in a minute you'll see where I'm going and well I should say I'm actually going to uh, meet someone and if you come with me on the ride you will get to meet him too well I'm pretty sure you guys already know him he's uh he's a youtuber don't tell anybody uh, he's a youtuber I'm not gonna say who yet so let's uh, see if I can surprise you guys and now uh, while we at it guys I do have a very interesting topic that I want to talk about where's the road oh there it is oh <laughs> I was like where's the road I thought I was, the GPS was sending me on the railroad track I was like what that's new and looks like we made it oh. can you guys tell who we're gonna meet oh probably not yet So guys, check this out. Behind me, look at that window there. And there it is. There it is. That is all they wanted. So I came to uh, check his food truck out. I'm having this beef thing that he made for me. Let me tell you, it's delicious. It's awesome. Look at that. I don't know if you guys want to see me eating, but this thing's awesome. So I'm going to finish eating because it, it's good to eat. Talking. All right, guys, uh, I think we're definitely going to have to continue on this video tomorrow or when it's not dark. I came to see old man Ronan and we were chatting and I definitely lost track of time. And it's, it's kind of late, I want to say. All right, I think I should say welcome back since it's definitely been a few days since I started that video and I'm just now getting back to it. Anyways, let's get straight into it. So we're going to talk about the things that I love about the 2018 Harley Davidson Road King. And number one is the look of the bike. Now, say what you will, and obviously you are entitled to your own opinion, but I do believe that the Road King is a beautiful motorcycle. On top of it being beautiful, I just love how simple the bike is. I mean, nothing is covered with a bunch of plastics, and everything is right there available to you, and you can clearly see things, like the engine, for example. You can see everything, and my favorite part, about the simplicity of the bike has to be the the dash all you have is that one single analog speedo now it does have a little light and extra indicators in it but nothing too nothing too overwhelming nothing too tacky it's just plain and simple like right now if you're looking at it nothing's on because you know nothing needs to be on that that's just awesome i really like it and uh, speaking about how beautiful the road king looks i know you've seen a road king at least in pictures but let's take a look at the bike a little bit
All right, enough with the look. Number two has to be cruise control. I do love the cruise control on the bike. It's, it's awesome, it's very useful. Now I have to be honest and say that I don't use cruise control every day. I use it mostly when I'm on the highway cruising on a long ride. And that's when I throw it on cruise control and just kind of be able to give my right hand a little break. And it is awesome being able to give your right hand a little break on a long trip, on a long ride. It's pretty awesome. So I definitely like that about the Red King. And at number three, we gotta talk about the storage on the bike. This is nothing specific or unique to the Road King. There are plenty of other bikes out there that come with storage. What I'm trying to say is having storage on a bike, at least for me personally and the type of riding that I do, I enjoy it. In fact, I would probably take storage over cruise control if, I, if, I, if it were to come to it. I take storage over cruise control. That's how, I'm, uh, how important I think storage is. And the fact that the Road King comes with storage, I think that's a plus. And talking about storage on the bike, the saddlebag specifically, I love the fact that they are lockable. And the very same key that locks the ignition is the same key that unlocks the bag. And with this being a 2018, the other thing that I love about it is how easily you can open the bags up. Because uh, prior to the Rushmore project, which started in 2014, correct me if I'm wrong, the bags used to open in a weird way. But the bags were one thing that Harley addressed uh, with the Rushmore project and sort of made them open the way they do now, which is awesome because you can literally open them with one finger. That's awesome. And at number four, we got to talk about the comfort of the bike. As you know, the Road King is a touring model. It's a touring bike. It's designed specifically to, to cover a lot of miles. And it wouldn't be, oh, my plug come undone. Crap, I got to put that back in somewhere before it drags into something. Anyways, you wouldn't want to have a bike that is made for touring but not comfortable. I have to point out though, the seat that I have currently on my Road King, it's not the best seat. It's a stock seat. It's one of the ones that that's actually a bit lower to sort of make the bike feel shorter. You know, it, it helping short riders out and stuff. Uh, I think they call it extended reach or something. And Correct me if I'm wrong, and I'm not sure if that has anything to do with the amount of padding that is on the driver's seat. But I do know that the seat is comfortable, but it's not my favorite. I, it, I feel like after two hours, my butt is crying for help. But aside from that, uh, the, the Road King is a very comfortable bike. I love the fact that it comes with floorboards instead of pegs, which allows me to sort of put my uh, feet in various positions while I'm riding. Again, to wrap up on the comfort of the bike, the only issue I have with it is the seat, which I did mention in the last video that I made talking about the bike, talking about the things that I hate about it. Uh, the seat was actually one of them. But aside from that, good little bike. And at number five, we have to talk about the Milwaukee 8 engine that powers this bike which Harley started putting in the Touring Models in 2017, I believe. I think the, the Touring Models got it first, then the Softtails got it second. And I think it's an awesome engine. I think it performs really well for this application. Um, I've never felt like I'm lacking power on this bike. Now, I have to be honest and say that you're not gonna win any race with this bike. It's not a race bike. You can go drag race it, but I mean, you'd have to drag race it across something similar, I would say. Other than that, you're definitely gonna lose because the bike wasn't made for any of that. The bike is a touring bike. It's made to jump on here and, and, and say, okay, I'm gonna hit New York. Well, that's an eight to 10 hour drive or ride, depending on your driving. And the bike is made for it. 
So it's made for touring, not racing, not drag racing, not any of that. So spec wise, the Road King is not the most powerful bike out there. We all know that. About 89 horsepower and that's not that's not the most powerful engine out there. It is very talky though. At 110 foot pound, that's very, very talky. Even the horsepower numbers, they're not the greatest out there, but for the application that the engine is used in, it's it's awesome. It's plenty. And with performance upgrades, a lot more power can be squeezed out of the bike. Again, the engine may not seem that powerful on paper, but trust me, it really is. It's plenty enough. All right, guys. That is going to be it for this video. I do wish that those cars in front of me would go a bit faster. I know it's 35 here, but these cars are going 33. So if you own a Road King, uh, just let me know what, what you like or don't like about your own Road King. Uh, we can compare our list. Um, aside from that, if you're riding, ride safe. I will see you on the next one.